Okay, this is my next project. That is one ugly car, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> it is an 82 Volkswagen Rabbit, and this is not the project. This is the parts car for the project. This has got a 1.6 diesel engine in it, non-turboed, which I'm sad about, but that's just the way it is. And I bought this last week for parts because the real project I'll show just in a minute. But anyway, the motor was, was seized up on it. And I got it in here and could not get it to loosen up. So I pulled the injectors out, which you can see down in the holes. And poured some diesel down in it, let it set a couple of days, and it loosened right up. So I think it's probably going to be all right. But while I've got the injectors out of it, I'm going to build me an injector tester. Oh, and this thing's got power steering on it, which I never had seen that before, but I thought was pretty cool for spare parts. It's got the super cool aluminum rims which are lighter than the steel, which that's a plus. But it's got a lot of, kind of some neat little things on it that was extras, I would say. Now here's the injector, I pulled them out. Somebody's painted them white, I don't really know what the deal is there. But anyway, when I pulled them out, they were kind of dirty and crusty which kind of tells you that it's not been running right or clean, which the car shows 170 some thousand miles on it. That one's the best looking one of them. And without knowing anything about the car, it's just an old car, you know. Anyway, I've got this old cab jack off a semi truck, which is just a jack like a bottle jack, only it's, this is the reservoir on it. And uh, I ordered the fittings yesterday to, to uh, make me an injector tester out of it. And what you do is, you put a, a, a line here, run it into here, and go to pumping on this. You've got a gauge on the line. You go to pumping on this and at about 2,000, PSI, this should pop. And when it pops, you can hear it, it'll go and squirt and atomize the fuel, which I'm, I'm confident that these are, these are dirty and are not right, but I'm a tool guy, I like to make tools. So anyway, I'm gonna make a tester. I've already ordered the new, this, this piece here is what they call a nozzle. It's replaceable. So I've ordered new one, new them, new nozzles to put on these. But even after I put the new ones on, I want to make sure they're working right. These, they call it a heat shield. And it goes down in the bottom of the hole and actually the injector sits on it like that. This heat shield is what seals the injector to the head. You can see there's a little bitty hole in it. That's what it squirts the fuel down through so it doesn't burn out the end of the nozzle. That makes sense. So anyway, the project is beginning. Here's some spare parts that I found over at my dad's. He had three spare pumps over there. I don't know where he come up with all of them, but anyway, that's good. This is a four speed instead of a five, which I wish it was a five, but it is what it is. These apparently are antiques because they're hard to find. And luckily this one here has not been messed with. Everything's complete. Original. Original paint, except for 
<laughs> the custom black spray can paint on the top. But anyway, all this is to say, go out here in the junkyard. Wish I could zoom. I can't zoom, but that's the project. It's a, I think it's an 81. Volkswagen Rabbit pickup that I bought whenever it was almost new and drove it for a long time then my dad drove it for a long time and the motor in it is wore completely out I tried to start it and there's so much blow by coming up through the up past the cam up through the engine that it wouldn't even try to hit a, a lick so that's the project this is episode one i'll talk to you later